Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotator, the Arena Survival Action Roguelike Hits Sub, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Elemento mod once again. Adds a bunch of characters, items, and weapons to the game, mostly related to the Elemental stat. Today, we're going to be checking out this kind of summoner character, which is 8 Elemental damage up, 25% enemies, 50 minions max HP up, 50%, 30 HP regen down, 25% less money from enemies, and every three seconds, we're going to be summoning two skulls. The skulls have their own huge stat block here, based off of our health, our damage stats, mostly elemental. Uh, our, you know, they're going to get three armor. We can have up to six. And whenever they deal damage, they have a chance to heal me as well. So basically, they can lifesteal for us. Uh, so, let's go ahead and grab... The skull stick, probably, here. Which is summon a skull whenever you attack. Which has, you know, some similar scaling stuff here. But let's schmoove on in and... Oh my god, look at him go. So which one's which? Okay, these little guys are from my passive. The bigger guys are from the weapon. But the weapon also does a good amount of damage itself, too. Kind of wild. I'll take elemental. I'll grab a I'll grab a skull stick. Heal player two HP on attack. Create a magical circle that can cause continuous damage. I'm curious if that could apply to my allies. Uh, does this scale off of ranged? No. A little bit of melee, a lot of elemental, and a little bit of percentage damage. Interestingly, maybe they can't benefit from percentage damage normally. Okay, so they're doing 12. Yeah, that, che that checks out. That checks out. Okay. All right, I'll grab probably Cute Monkey later. I think it's a really good item. Well, but we're getting less material drops. It's not that it's not good. It is a very good item on pretty much every single run. But, eh. Let's lean into some of the more cool summoning-related stuff. I mean, like, look at this. We get a little army here. Can't go wrong with that. But the fact that they scale off of our stats too. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I'll take a little harvesting. It's early. Darkness stick. I mean, I kind of want to... Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? The luck on that. Absolutely abysmal. Okay. So it seems like we don't actually need to attack with our weapon for the summons to happen. It seems like it just happens every X seconds. I could be wrong. But we also have a max limit, so we can't summon extras extras anyways. Cool. More elemental. Skull stick. We're not guaranteed weapons anymore. Boiling water. Sure. I mean, they have like a 70% scaling. What what do these ones have? 80%. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a good call. Go, 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 go. Hmm. So the lifesteal, they basically have lifesteal for us. It's not on kill, it's on... Or at least, these ones do. These ones don't. That's interesting. So that's in place of uh, HP regen, since we can't get HP regen. I think that leaning into the lifesteal aspect is going to be a very, very good idea then. Lifesteal, a little bit of armor, a little bit of elemental, because they scale off of my armor. Or those ones do. These ones... These ones don't? <laughs> it's it's so tricky to figure out, man. They're all over the place. Can they crit? Let's find out. Knockback could be good. Big skull stick. Just magic book exists as well. Alien worm I'm tempted in just for the health. 
Because if all of my units have more health too, like they're, they're kind of tanking hits for me. Do they have knockback? They do. It looks like my units can knock back enemies, which could be a problem. I got it for my weapons in the same way that I kind of like knockback on engineering runs, which this truly is just a neighbor of an engineering run. It's like, what if your turrets could were melee and could move? Which I like. Speed minus luck. Not right now. Anything off of attack speed. I mean, technically we summon on attack, so that could be beneficial there. That scales off my... I... I, I feel like I'm at max cap always anyways. Am I wrong? You gotta get that early. So what's the difference? Uh, the stats. The stats on the summon are a lot better. I was hoping we would get an extra summon. Like an extra limit, but maybe... I mean, if, from what I remember from this mod... I think that there's always there was always a like absurd jump at legendary, so maybe there we can get something. Either summoning a completely different unit or like I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll see. We'll see. My hope, my dream, my desire is that we just get uh, we can get more summons. Maybe that angle is terrible for the performance of the game, though. You know, I guess maybe that's... Because it seems like they get stronger. We don't get more of them. They just get stronger. Seems like it makes sense. Nah. Nah. HP regen is useless for us. Dodge is not, though. Harvesting early. Enemy speed down sounds lovely. So do they... I can't tell if they sort of stick around me or not. Let's see. If I move down here, do, do they start to follow me? Okay. The ones from my passive do. They move with me. The other ones don't. That's interesting. But they follow me in a very slow way. So stand, like standing still, doing the standstill kill build with these could actually be viable. They block bullets, right? The world may never know. If they have health. So I guess I would assume so. Range for every 20 enemies you kill? I mean, I don't know, man. If they can apply burn, that's really exciting. But, I mean, worst comes to worst, I can apply burn. They cannot apply burn. So Okay, so on-hit effects do not happen. They cannot do them. I think it's still worth it for me to have the burn. Probably not worth it to go, like, all in on it. Like, it's sort of a waste for um, us to invest in, like, multiple eye surgery or something, though, I would say. Because I don't really want my melee hits to be the, <laughs> the core damage dealer of this run. I'd prefer to be able to run away like a scared baby boy if I so chose. Okay. Help. Pack speed's tempting. But everything else here is more tempting. I'm gonna risk it. Alright, summons. Come on, summons. See it in action. Oh. Uh, Alright. 
All right, yeah, these are, they're pretty darn good. That was scary for a bit, but they are they are darn good. They're healing for three every second too. If we do really want one specific unit to die, we do have to get in there and smack them with our staff as well. Like, that does up our single target DPS substantially. 12% life steal. Which should mean. Yeah, I don't see. It's off screen. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit of armor would go a long way. Thank you. Well, speed down. Sure, I'll get some attack speed. Get some speed to fix it. Some more armor. More dodge is not bad, though. Energy bracelet. Good. Pirate. Pirate hook. Summons. Oh, and it's not a. It's not a weapon. Summons another skull. Okay. Is it unique? Not unique. I would love to just get more of those then. Yeah, definitely can't stand still. I mean, maybe we could, but we will get hit a lot. From big boys. Unclear if they scale off of my attack speed for their attack, for their attack speed, my, my summons. But it doesn't say anything on the unit, so if they do, it's it's unspoken. Okay. So far, so easy for what it's worth, but that's been the Elemento mod in general. Like, a lot of them were, were quite, uh, quite easy. But that's not, I feel like that's not the draw of the mod. The draw of the mod is like, look at all these crazy ideas. And they are indeed crazy. Triple armor. You know what, let's, I want to see. Stats up, we, we get another, we get an extra summon. Try and tunnel vision up to, what the hell? When apply poison on a frozen enemy, convert it to apply ice poison, reduce its damage by 50%, cancel boost, ice poison damage heals you one. What? What did you just say to me? Either way, I don't have poison. So yeah, if I just um, tunnel vision up to legend, tunnel vision up to legendary, I get another summon. I remember that being the case with a lot of the weapons on this mod, that the, the jump from epic to legendary was astronomical. Wah, 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 wah. Seems like that might be the case on this weapon as well. I, I'm not sure. Am I, am I not seeing... Okay, so there's... A unit just got summoned, so I guess some are dying. They don't die very often. I guess that could be because the uh, the armor and tankiness that I've applied to them. And then we have enough attack enough attack speed to summon them quickly, you know. Yeah, I think I think that it's fine. I think that attack speed is I'm not going to say it's a dead stat today, but it's probably the least important today compared to others. Oh god, it's gonna be okay. Zoop. I want elemental damage. Elemental damage. Consumables have a chance to explode for your elemental damage. This was a horde wave, yeah? Woo boy. So we should get at least a lot of lifesteal action. But yeah, we can't... I don't know. We can't rely on them to kill the enemies before they get to me. And the weapon itself is not incredible. It's good enough. 
the actual physical smack stick. It's not incredible, nor should it be. In fact, it does a lot more than you would probably assume. Okay. Yeah, that lifesteal is absurd. Importantly, I don't think it's going to get life... I don't think we're lifesteal capped from our allies. We're lifesteal capped from our weapon, but... Heal, to heal totem. Every 9.5 seconds, summon one heal totem with a limit of one. Heal nearby friends. I mean, yeah. He'll take, yeah, I'll take some elemental damage. One max HP, 8% enemy health, one poison applied to times. I don't know what that means in this context, so I'm going to skip it for now. Lifesteal more enemies minus harmony? Sure. And then we also got the tentacle. Got another legendary. Yeah, this is the rare day where I kind of like jumping the commons up to the legendary. If I remember correctly, though, yeah, I, I think that I... Oh, yeah. Stay in here. This scales off of... Heal for 10% of your elemental. Love to hear it. Kind of want to take a hit. Just to see how quickly it comes back. The answer is very quickly. Wow. Yeah, extremely quickly. I'm like kind of trying to take hits here. Trying to, trying to get killed just to see if it's possible. In that circle, I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's possible anywhere. This is why the lifesteal cap exists. Say no to that. Yes to that. Armor, sure. When applying poison on a burning enemy, convert to fire poison. Deal burning damage twice. And poison damage is up 20%. I mean... I don't know, man. Seems cool, but we just don't have poison. Burning activates fat. I don't care right now. Wow. A statue that can slash for 44 elemental. Sounds good to me. Please summon the circle here. It seems like it tries to summon it around me. Yes! We can just vibe right here. Not gonna say I'm invincible. Oh, I just dropped a whole bunch of pistachios on the ground. Let me pick them up. One minute. Let me take a long time to pick these up. Alright. One pistachio. Two pistachio. Three pistachio. Alright. I mean, that was some, that's scary. That was a kind of scary amount of damage there for a smidgen. Kind of kind of scary amount for a little tiny bit there. But yeah, that, that lifesteal. There's a reason it's capped, baby. There's a reason it's capped. That was scary at the end, though. Uh, actively negative elemental on here. Grab more lifesteal. When you... Reach zero health, you don't die. I'm just gonna not die. How about that? Lose all of your other stats to gain elemental, but I don't really have... Technically, I will lose elemental by doing that. Pickup range could be good. 4% enemy speed. Poison efficiency. I don't have poison. God, I really should have grabbed poison by now, I guess. Another healing totem. Another unstable magic core. Don't mind if I do. Okay. If there's going to be anything scary, it's going to be the beginning of this wave. Okay, stand up here. Hopefully, this totems will spawn right. Yes. 
Yes, they overlap. The Venn diagram. The, in the Venn diagram of invincibility. Up here, gang. Okay, I do want to pick up all this garbage. Fourteen percent dodge feels like it's proking a lot for fourteen percent. I can't deny. Credit where credits due. Wow. I mean, I could just like random die. I guess like it could just go down super fast. I'll take a wandering file. I'll grab some HP. Snake whistle. Summon a snake. Chance to apply point. I mean, sure. This would be just for the elemental. I can't gain HP regen, and it would be speed. I'm going to actually say no. Burning spreads, eh. Get another snake whistle. More summons, more fun. Where's the snake? There it is. He can't cute. But yeah, as long as we're in here, fine. They make the uh, the healing totem or the healing turret look like a pushover, which is crazy because that is such a strong item. All right, all right, my single target is still fine at best, but we are really strong. <laughs> Yeah, when these guys aren't hitting stuff, we have problems. So I guess we kind of we can't be too far away from enemies because they seem to follow me a bit. Nope. More armor, more funny. More summons. More elemental. I'll take a little bit more elemental there. It's another weapon. Another peacock. At this point, it's stupid. It's 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 dumb. It, it is actively unwise at this point. Okay, move back here so we can summon our turrets. Hopefully, yep. In range of that, we'll just want to be a little bit safer than usual. The fact that our weapons themselves are critting for above 100 is... Surprising. Okay. Get out there. Just be careful because Peacock could could actually cause a lot of issues. We don't have great keep away. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Risk a little bit of a biscuit. I'll take a garden. Triangle of power could be good, but I just don't want to have to worry about it. Wave 18, we don't care about harvesting that much anymore. When you're hit by enemies, chance to freeze all enemies, frizzy all enemies around you, sure. Okay, I don't know what an elite is going to really look like for us. It's going to be a little bit strange. We're not... We're not great at it. Okay, I frizzied him. Yeah, our single target is meh. Which makes sense. So we're kind of like a halfway point between like a burn build and engineering. But like a little bit closer to the engineering. Basically unreliable scattering damage. But in a way that doesn't matter too much. I actually really like the freezy. Very happy we didn't go for the um, 
on hit loose damage. The, the triangle of power. I'm happy about that. Good call in hindsight. Projectiles bounce? I don't think this is relevant. I have no clue, though. 3% damage, 10% minions damage. That is cool. I wish I had more of those. Grab the Cyclops Worm. I mean, it's... <sighs> it's not worth it. Don't care a lot about my range, but it matters a bit. a little bit. I don't think it adjusts the range of any of my allies or anything. And even if it did, I wouldn't care. I, I don't care if they get up in melee range. I'll just summon more if they die. In fact, it would feel like good value at that point. Because I knew that they did their job as best they could. Till the end of time. They're willing to give their life for this McDonald's. All right. Four, three. Yeah, we're, we're all good. We're all good. And if I'm going to be honest, we have been for a while. I don't think I need attack speed. Like, I actually think that that's not that great of an item today. Uh, four lifesteal for minus three knockback. I'm actually going to say yeah, because there's no cap on lifesteal on my summons. So, yes. With that in mind, yes. Oh, we're on the boss. Saving money for next game, then. <laughs> okay, get up here, gang. Start fighting the boss instead. They are unable to uh, coordinate in any way. What are they, undead? Brainless undead? I'll say that they're all dying pretty easily to, like, this jump rope. Or what I call the jump rope, which, you know, makes sense. Does a lot of damage. Guaranteed sweep. All right. I'm just going to let them... I'm going to walk around and vibe and let them slowly kill. Get him. This definitely shows that being close to the boss helps so much, though. Because these guys, yeah, they, they stick around me. The, the pirates, they go scatter all over the place. Wild character. Absolutely wild character. Oh, my. Alas, I don't know how many of the characters we're going to do. It's <laughs> the difference in the art. In some of these, it's wild. The fact that this one exists and looks like that is wild to me. But yeah, we had a couple other ones that we hadn't checked out in the past that maybe we'll play around with. Who knows? Uh, so the old witch is clearly the poison character. There's Fireman who leaves balls of fire on the ground. Soul Reaper. S some kind of soul economy thing going on. At the last 10 seconds of the wave, reserve, reverse the plus or minus symbol of percent damage and gain it. That, just a whole wild stuff. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for <laughs> Rogue Likes and more every single day. Link at the top of the description if you want to check out the mod for yourself. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.